What's up friends, this is Mani and welcome to the ultimate version of Haichi and Vortex. Vortex actually getting me excited here in War Robots. We are in fact on the phone today because for some reason I couldn't get the test server client to update properly on the Android uh, emulator version. But we have new weapons here uh, called a Mogwan, which is a medium range weapon with 350 meters range and it applies a rust effect. But in the future it's supposed to be the crumble effect. Seems like uh, it will, I don't know, slow you down. Let's see what it says. High-speed shotgun firing, ball lightning. The weapon boasts a high rate of fire, can only uh, destroy a robot's ca casing, but also disrupt integrated durability restoration systems. Holy smokes, the words are getting complicated. Uh, the ball lightning projectiles have an increased area of effect and can penetrate thick layers of armor, including physical shields. The shotgun is also equipped with special coils that apply rust and crumble effects to enemies, reduce, reducing the efficiency of repair systems and making the robot more vulnerable. That's what rust does, but what does crumble do? It makes the robot more vulnerable? So the crumble effect makes you take more damage. Is that what it is? There is also another weapon like it um, on a heavy category or light, but this is basically what they do. 350 meters range. Let's test them. But more excited I am actually for the ultimate version of Vortex, which has now 500 meters range and only 9 seconds of reload. Probably not even a lock-on time. The ultimate version of Vortex, a trophy for commander, 50% increased damage in PvE, missile systems, volley of 6 homing missiles, overcome obstacles, and so on. So, but that at 500 meters, let's see. And of course, we have the ultimate version of Haichi itself. And then we have the Chongwong. Ch Chongwe? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a new drone that will, on phase shift, give you more speed. Uh, and it will give you more healing on phase shift as well. After the phase shift, after you come out of it. And additional damage altogether and more damage to Aegis shields as well. So very interesting. Alright, let's hop into the game and test away. Again, I am going to have to play this on the phone now. And I... And I didn't uh, spend time moving controls around. So uh, we have a large control scheme over uh, the screen. And I'm probably going to be really bad at it. Because uh, while I have played and practiced a lot of Brawl Stars on the phone with a touch screen. I haven't played War Robots on it much. So yeah, I'm probably not going to be the best player on that right now. But uh, let's first test the Ultimate Haichi with the Ultimate Vortex, okay? Let's go for it. There we go. Everything is black and orange in a typical or a ultimate color scheme. Um, and again, also something in general about war, uh, about ultimate items. I wouldn't mind for ultimate items if they were generally accessible for players. Whoa, I already got hit. But that was more than 500 meters, wasn't it? Can I hit him from here? But it said it's 500 meters range. Hold on. Fire. Hold on. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, wait a minute, so the- Whoa, I almost killed him! Dude, the weapon goes forward, and then it begins to sp What was that? A scorpion, right? Fire, 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 fire. Oh, yeah, and the ultimate Haichi activates an absorber shield when, uh... Wow, that was a good hit. Fire, fire, fire. Boom, boom. Oh, no, he dashed. The ultimate version of Haichi act activates a short absorber shield when he uses the dash. Very interesting. Fire, fire, fire. Oh no, he used it again. Oh wow, he, he still killed him though. Almost. Okay, he's dashing. Fire, 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 and... Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get over here. So this dash is actually more vulnerable, uh, useful, because it will... Hold on, face shift. Come on, land already. Dude, come on, and fire. Boom! What? That was not a kill! Should have been a kill. Go away, ultimate version of, uh, of Ao Chun. Okay. No lock on. Fire. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, but I survived with like 450 HP, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty much gone. Uh. Alright, there comes another... Okay, it's a raptor robot. I guess I'm gonna probably kill myself with this. Yeah, I knew. I thought as much. Alright, let's try the new, uh, whatever the weapon was called. Wow! Now that is an effect. Holy smokes. We only have 350 meters range. 
so I have to get really close with this. Oh, by the way, also, do you see how fast the um, projectiles regenerate? Uh, so sorry, the dashes regenerate? It's crazy. So... The problem is how close I have to get with these shotguns, man. Okay. <laughs> Even these weapons, they fire in a little arc, right? Oh, I'm suppressed now. Ooh! Okay. I did not expect to die this quick. Mm, I thought I'm have a face shift and everything. I should be good. Corner shooting. Face shift. Dashing after him. Boom. Boom. Hello. Boom. 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 Haha. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. Uh oh. No. No. Shift face. No. Something. Okay, uh, everything was on cooldown. That sucked. Wow, look at that. That's a familiar right there. Fire. Yo, but the weapon fires straight forward into the wall, so... It's not... You, you can't really, uh... Huh. You can't really fire over every obstacle. You can fire over some of them. But some of the others, like... Oh my god. And no matter how far I dash and how far I go... Okay, here we go. Boom! Oh man, I actually missed. Okay. Now he's gone. So you have to aim accurately. I thought I could have just... It's a homing missile, right? So I thought I could just aim right next to him and it will still be good enough. But you have to be very accurate. What's good is how quickly the uh, the dashes regenerate now. You th I don't think I can hit him. See? Weapon just fires into the wall in front of me. Because it will it will travel forward for a while before it will start uh, to traverse the terrain. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder what the other weapon is. It a heavy or a light weapon? Let me just open it real quick here on the uh, on the PC. Um, the other weapon is called Gangi. It's light. Mogwan, Mogwan medium. And the heavy is ki Kirin. So there's three categories of weapons with these new weapons. Uh, and I haven't done anything here. Okay. Um, Ultimate Vortex, Ultimate Ver uh, Haichi, and uh, Chongwe. Ch Chong or whatever. <laughs> Drones called. Um, Alright, so now we have a really long range. Uh, hold on, what is that? What's that in the center? Push. Get the payload. Oh, this is this. So you have to push a card or something across the map. Never done this. This is something I've never actually done this before. I only know this. Is somebody firing non-stop over there? Or what is that? Oh, no, this is the... Okay, this is the item that we have to move. Okay. Okay. Is, is anybody even doing that, like, on the, on the game? Okay. Fire. Oh, this is annoying. All right, so if the... Whoa, his weapons did that very well, though. So he's probably gonna dash. Yep, there it is. I should have dashed as well, I guess. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it's really difficult with these weapons to praise hits because they don't, what they typically do, go up and hit. Uh, but they first travel forward and then they will begin to uh, to fly up. So you have to take more distance with them. You s you have to actually stay at like 500 meters range unless you have direct fire like this. Then you can make it work too. So he's going to jump on me in a second, isn't he? Yep, there he is. Okay. Let's wait for him to land. And then wait for the reflector to go away and fire. Boom. There we go. Okay, so this is how you run them. You have to plan in like 200 meters of straight or 300 meters of straightforward terrain. And only then will it begin to uh, to do the thing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, no damage though, unfortunately. The shotguns have the sound effect, by the way, from um, from the other weapons. The, uh, the other shotguns. Hey, fire. Boom. Wow, you're in phase shift, yet you're firing at me. Well, that's great. Okay. 
He's just killing me from face shift. What the heck can I do about that? This is garbage. So is he a hacker or does he for some reason have non-stop face shift? Uh oh, wait, there's an invader? That's an enemy? I thought there was a friend in, my, in front of me. Why is an enemy invader next to me, dude? Boom. Oh, nice. I almost got him. Yeah, and nobody can do a thing about him. Because he's just non-stop face shifting. Great. Great. That's that's great gameplay. Um, see if we can use that shotgun. Uh, or he's not... Wait, he's not the only one doing that? Maybe something is wrong with... Uh, with uh, with the angler something must be wrong with the angler here and they found this out within minutes they immediately found out that something is wrong with the angler really here non-stop face shift on him completely worthless so yeah um that's fun that's that's really uh fun to test the game with uh, against uh, this kind of gameplay style why you need to cheat on test servers is beyond me i don't know but i killed somebody uh so that was good so if this is like a cheating thing that's going on and everybody knows about it or whatever then okay but do you really have to run it then because it's you know what what what, what game are you playing what's the point of playing this if you're invincible um, but, um, okay. This guy is really fast. I... What the heck is he? Oh, that's this thing. Okay. I was just looking at what what, what I was looking at. And it <laughs> didn't even uh, fight back. Okay. So, how strong are these weapons at short range? They're decent, I guess. As a shotgun, they should be pretty okay, right? Um, come on, come in here. Yep. Doing some good damage with these shotguns. Alrighty. Getting around cover. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought maybe he was going to attack the other uh, player there. But, okay, so that's a test server this weekend, my friends. Hold on, let me open the thing here. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little confused about the Vortex. I'm not sure if it's finished in its kind of like maybe the development isn't finished yet. The weapon is maybe supposed to actually travel in an arc from the start or 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 they do want to have it a, a direct line of fire for a short time and then it tra takes the arc. I'm not sure. A in the description I don't think it says anything about the way it travels, right? Missile which fires a volley, overcomes small obstacles. Yeah. Uh less effective about mobile targets. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it doesn't say anything about this. Either the weapon isn't fully developed yet, or um, it's supposed to have a different kind of mechanic on how it travels. I guess we're gonna have to see. Um, if this is the way how it's supposed to work, then not every situation allows you to fire. You're gonna have to move around on the map differently to make it uh, effective then. All right, and about the other weapons, uh, the crumble effect hasn't yet shown its potential. It's not yet in here, but it's supposed to make the enemy more vulnerable. Not sure exactly what it means. It's a shotgun, 350 meters range. That's always okay. I mean, a shotgun should have low range. Um, at least it doesn't bring like 500 meters and a lot of damage at long range, right? So tell me what you think about Vortex and Ultimate Haichi. Um, seems seems okay that it gets a short absorber to me, but um, yeah, I hate absor I hate Ultimate content for the way it's obtained, the for the way how it's uh, not available to players. That's what I hate about it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video and uh, have a good weekend, my friends. Manny signing off. Bye bye.